So I had a question about the interactivity preview panel, and I just wanted to do a very quick video to show how that works. So this is my exemplar that I've been working on, and as you can see, I have animations here. If I wanted to see if that's functioning now, I can use the EPUB interactivity preview. So I have it docked in here, but for now, I'm going to close that panel. So if your panels look like this and you don't see your interactivity panel, there are a couple of things. I could go to the animation panel or pretty much any one of these and in the bottom left corner there is a preview spread EPUB. So if I click on that, it opens up the interactivity preview panel and it shows the interactivity preview that I'm looking for. This should now show that spread and you can see that when it loads the spread I'm going to enlarge the panel you can see that the animations are working here so this helps you see where the animations are working or whatever else I have in the spread if I click this down here we have a single spread down here it's the whole document so if I press play preview it's going to reload that and you'll see it's going to show me that first page again and everything that's on there is going to work all the links and so forth will work but I can also use these arrows here to go to my other pages and test the interactivity on those pages so for example my video here if I click in there I can see my video works and I can go through to the next page here, if I click on the image, it enlarges. I've got to hover over here because this is a click. And if I go to the last one, I have an audio and I have that animation in the, in the beginning. So that's one way to do it without publishing. As I said before, you can get it in any of these panels that work with your interactive media. It's in, your, it's in the media panel in the bottom corner, in the object states panel. It's in all those. But if you want a separate button like I have, where you don't have to go particularly into that. What you do is you go to Windows, and then you come down to Interactive, and then you go to the EPUB Interactivity Preview, and that will open it up. And then I can kind of grab it. I'm going to close that here. I'm going to grab it here, and I can just set it in my panel where I want it. And then every time I open my interface with this document, that'll be set in that as part of my digital publishing group. So if I click on here now, again, I can make this much larger, and then I'll be able to really see what my interactions look like and how everything's working without actually publishing it. So I hope that's helpful, and I will see you soon. Take care.